are going to save a lot of energy. They, they, they probably run at best half of what the old ones did. All depending on the type of light that was in its place to begin with when we started, because every pole can have a different light depending on the neighborhood, how close the houses are, or brightness. You don't want to you know, drown somebody at night with light when they're trying to go to bed. So, you know, every one of them is going to be a little bit different, but for the most part, they're a 50 and a 70 watt fixture is what we're taking, we're putting up. We're taking down roughly a 90 to 150 water. It could be up to $70,000 a year in electricity. So it's that right there could get back into the system, go to the schools, go to the other highway department divisions. And it could be a huge savings for every town on Cape Cod. It's a no brainer to me. I'll eventually, when I put this on the pole, I put the line in the neutral right here and here, and the ground goes in the middle. It's all driven by, a, by this ballast, this driver. And when it's all said and done, I put this in the top. This is a photo cell that watch, that keeps, it keeps an eye out on the sun. When the sun comes out, it shuts the light off. When it starts to get dark, it turns it back on. That's really all there is to it. It's pretty simple. When it comes down to the and your corresponding pole number inside, it goes with the pole on the pole. So when it's all said and done, can't make any mistakes. And up we go. The voltage of the light, so I know which taps to use. Pretty much all the Cape Cod so far has been 120 volts, 120 volts. Cut the line. And cap it. And that's basically all there is to disconnecting it. And now it's unbolting it from the pole. Have these bubbles inside so we can level it and with some of the poles you have to go with the, which one's better is it a quarter bubble up or a quarter bubble down this is the one you got to make sure is perfect but you don't want to shine it in somebody's house so you kind of want to shine it away from the houses if you can a little bit and tighten it down like the old one And the line side, it's the one with the juice. As you can see, you can't get hurt by it. It's got to be respectful and careful. And now we rehook it back up. And that's all there is to it. Now we put the photo cell on, and that's what turns the light on. And that's it. There you go. These are the diodes right here. Each one of these is a, is a light. And it throws off a lot of light for a little thing like that. And the, uh, the great thing about these lights, bugs don't see the diode. I just replaced a driver at the East Ham Shell yeah. and he told me he can't believe there's no bugs. <laughs> he goes, usually when people are pumping gas, they're getting bit. And he says, nope, it doesn't even attract the bugs. In comparison to a 170 watt bulb or a 100 watt bulb, there's a lot more light right there. And they're supposed to last 50,000 hours. But for the most part, these things are just gonna last as long as I am, hopefully. 